Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Is it over? Is it finished? Is it done? Did Glenn Ellerby and Josh Heupel land the big fish? You know, one of the questions I get asked all the time because of my stance, because of my opinion, where I think Tennessee is at with David Sanders, I get asked all the time, Boogie, is David Sanders a silent commit? Somebody said in the chat the other night, they said, Boogie knows something that we don't know. And I may wink and nod and have some fun with it, but the answer is, is no. I, I don't know something that you guys don't I, I don't I don't believe that that David Sanders is a silent commit at this point what I believe is that he loves Tennessee and that Tennessee has always been deep in his recruitment uh this is a quote from David himself he says I just love Tennessee's coaching staff uh he said coach Josh Heifel Glenn Ellerby they do a great job with that personal connection I think out of anybody they do the best job calling texting just staying in contact with my parents and building that relationship uh, he goes on to say, I just feel like you can be yourself at Tennessee. There's nothing you have to do differently, even though it's a big SEC school that wins a lot of games and is in contention for winning national championships year in and year out. That's a place you can go and freely be yourself. And I think that is a huge part of David Sanders' uh, recruitment. I think the, the relationships, the relationships with the family and the coaching staff. I, I think NIL is obviously a part of it, right? You're talking about the number two overall player in the country, the number one offensive tackle in the country. Of course, NIL is going to be a part of it. But I also think it's peer relationships. I think George McIntyre is playing a big factor in the recruitment of David Sanders. And look, I made a video a couple of days ago, two days ago, I made a video, and I played this clip from Steve Wilpon. We'll play it again just for context. Prior to August 1, before you went on vacation, mm -hmm. you were giving the edge to Ohio mm -hmm. State. At this point, would you still give the edge to Ohio State? Are they even? No. I, so I think when I'm talking to all my sources and adding up the intel, my best guess today would be Tennessee. Mm -hmm. But I've also at times had my best guess on Ohio State. Yeah. And then even early in the process, you know, you looked at Georgia. Clemson, and uh, I now. never had Clemson in the one hole. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people did. A lot sure, of people said sure. this is going to be the team that's going to be here till yeah. the end. They didn't even make the top four. Correct. So, but, and I don't, and I think, you know, I'm not, you know, who knows? We'll see. Maybe we're sleeping on Georgia, but, but, doesn't uh, feel like it. But my best guess today would be Tennessee. But again, they're working through it, man. And, mm -hmm. and it's genuine interest in these programs. They have a lot to offer. And so we'll see what happens. All right. So you can see that tweet was put out on August the 8th. I made that video two days ago on August the 9th. Now, shortly after that, we got further confirmation. We got a little bit of a thing called a fong bomb. This was about two hours after I dropped that video on the 9th. It becomes official. Steve Wiltfong logged his expert prediction for Tennessee to land five-star offensive tackle David Sanders. Now, again, does this mean David Sanders is in the boat? We talk about the final hour when Steve Wiltfong makes these predictions late in the game that it is a spoiler alert. Now, how is it a spoiler alert? What exactly happens? Well, sometimes what happens is David Sanders or, or the, the prospect that we're talking about will let the coaching staffs know. So whether he's contacting Georgia or he's contacting Ohio State or Nebraska and saying, hey, I appreciate the recruitment. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the relationships that we built, but I'm going to be taking my talents to the University of Tennessee. This is all behind the scenes. Now, what happens from there? That gets leaked to sources that Steve Wiltfong has, that Chad Simmons has, and that's how it becomes a a spoiler alert. Now, is that the case here? I don't think so. I don't think David Sanders has told anybody where he's going. I think Steve Wilfong has finally just come to terms that Tennessee is the front runner. Now, we can go over and take a look at some of the other expert predictions. We can take a look at some crystal balls. We can break down this, this prediction from Steve Wilfong before we do that. You guys already know I need you to smash the thumbs up. Destroy that thumbs up just below the video. It's quick, it's free, it's easy, and it helps the channel. And I know I say that every video, but it's the truth. A lot of you guys have started attacking the comment section. I love it. You're just putting GBO, and that's great. That's playing the numbers game of YouTube, playing the analytics game, helping grow this network, this channel is for the fans, by the fans. We're not experts. We're not insiders. We're not media. We're building this thing together. You guys have a voice. You're going to have a voice tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time for our fan call-in show. We're going to be talking about the scrimmage. We'll talk about David Sanders. We'll talk about whatever you guys want to get into tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Come hang out. Make sure those memberships are up to date. Uh, we send out the link to Talking Balls Elite and Higher first, and then we kind of go down the tier and see how the show goes. But come hang out tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Always a good time. But let's get back into it. Let's talk. David Sanders. And I want to go take a look at his profile. 
Again, we talk all the time, five-star offensive tackle, number two overall player in the country, number one offensive lineman, almost 6'6", 276 out of Charlotte, North Carolina. If you don't know who David Sanders is, I'm going to read the scouting report. We've never really got into the scouting report because he's such an elite prospect, but let's listen to what Andrew Ivins, the director of scouting at 247 Sports, uh, says about David Sanders. says he's an athletic offensive tackle prospect with extremely high ceiling uh, given the measurables and movement patterns, over 6'5", and equipped with arm that stretch over 36 inches on the lighter side now, but has plenty of time to add mass and has already posted impressive markers in the weight room for a youngster as he can power clean 335. Now, at the time of this scouting report, he could have probably already added some weight, probably added some strength since then. Uh, goes on to say, very nimble for someone with such long limbs as he can quickly set up for battle and then refortify if needed. Uh, might own a wiry frame now, but has a surprisingly strong punch and understands how to find leverage before unlocking his hips and trying to displace pass rushers with his explosive lower half. Uh, carved out a starting role as a ninth grader before freshman campaign was derailed by a femur injury. However, rebounded in a big way as a sophomore and anchored the left side of the line for Providence State program that won its first state title in 10 years. Must keep progressing and continuing to fill out, but should be viewed as one of the top corner protectors in the 2025 cycle likely going to need some time to get adjusted to the speed of big time college football but has a skill set to emerge as a multi-year starter at the left tackle for a contender top 32 upside given his reach and testing profile so that's the scouting report on david sanders again just an elite prospect i think he would be a huge addition you look at what glenn ellerby has done you look at what josh heupel has done these last couple of cycles in the recruiting on the offensive line they're adding that depth and once we start building that depth on the offensive line we see what's happened on the defensive line right and, and we're talking about the results of the first scrimmage and how the defense won the day and that's because you've built that depth and you've got guys two, three deep on that defensive line going head-to-head -head with an offensive line that you had some guys sitting out, right? You had Lance Hurd sitting out. You had John Campbell sitting out. We don't have that depth there, and that's why staying healthy on the offensive line is so crucial in 2024, but we are fixing that. Glenn Ellerby and Josh Heibel are fixing that on the recruiting trail in the class of 24 and in the class of 25. David Sanders is a huge piece to that puzzle. You got David Sanders that would come in as a true freshman in 2025. Lance Hurd would just be a junior. You've got Bennett Warren. The, the staff's happy with where Jeremiah Hurd is at. They're happy with where Jesse Perry's at. You got some talent on that offensive line. So let's go talk about the, uh, the prediction from Steve Wiltfong. You can go down here. You can unlock all the predictions over at On3. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you see here the prediction from Steve Wiltfong came on August the 9th at 1123 a.m. Shortly thereafter, one minute later, Pete Nakos drops his prediction. Chad Simmons, about uh, 30, 30, 40 minutes later, drops his prediction. Sean Callahan drops his prediction. You can go over to 247 Sports. Anna Adams of 247 also put in a crystal ball prediction for Tennessee to land David Sanders. Uh, in her article, she says it doesn't hurt that Tennessee has been consistent throughout, despite not typically being talked about as the standalone leader by the industry. Steady. Tennessee checks all the boxes for Sanders. He said so himself. That sounds pretty familiar. That sounds pretty familiar. That's kind of what I've been saying all along throughout this thing. Tennessee has been consistent. They've always been in the conversation. And Adams goes on to talk about the visit since March. He went to South Carolina once, Alabama, Nebraska twice, Clemson, Georgia, Ohio State three times. He hit Tennessee five times since March. I think that tells you all you need to know. He wants to take an extra visit to fill things out with Nebraska. Get out there a second time because he'd only taken that one visit. Well, guess where else he goes? He comes back to Tennessee. Tom Loy at 247 also put in his crystal ball to the good guys. Well, let's go take a quick look at this article from A to Z Sports because I know some of you – some of you may think that David Sanders is already in the boat. Is he a silent commit? Is David Sanders committed to Tennessee right now? What do you think? Put it in the comments section. On the flip side, some of you guys are in panic mode. Why? Well, let's go take a look at uh, Zach Reagan's thoughts here. He's talking about the Fong bomb. Steve Wilt Fong logs in the expert prediction. Uh, he goes to Instagram and he gets the reaction from David Sanders. You can see here, David Sanders says, ooh, we. Is he saying, ooh, we, or is it like, ooh, we? What is David Sanders saying here? Ooh, we with an eyeball emoji. You scroll on down here, it says, good luck deciphering what that means. I guess we'll find out later this month when Sanders announces his commitment. We'll be covering it live right here on the Talking Balls Network. And this is what has some people in a panic. It's worth noting Sanders has been spotted wearing Ohio State gear numerous times over the last couple of weeks, including as recently as Thursday. You can see there on Instagram the Ohio State shirt. We saw the Ohio State armband. And, yeah, Coach, Coach Jay gave me a hard time, right? Coach Jay said, uh, Boogie, you were talking about Juan Gaston wearing a Tennessee pullover. 
How are you going to just completely ignore the fact that David Sanders was wearing an Ohio State armband? Coach Jay, Coach Rice come on this channel numerous times. They talked about the kids that they've coached. When they get the swag, they wear the swag. I don't think it is anything to be concerned about. But what do you guys think? Because I wanted to do a brief update video because, you know, I got I got the, the, the clip from Steve Wilfong saying Tennessee appears to be out front. Two hours later, the, the prediction comes in. Is David Sanders in the boat? Is David Sanders a silent commit? Jump into the comment section and let's talk about it. As always, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up on the way out the door. We would appreciate it. Uh, go check out the Talking Balls merchandise. You can go to bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. That link's also in the description below. Uh, we got a VWO shirt, Vol World Order, because if you're Talking Balls, you're Talking Balls for life. We got a Knoxville, Tennessee themed shirt, checkerboard. Uh, we've got... Uh, Balls by Fitty. We got all kinds of fun merch. Go check it out. Also, shout out to the members of the channel. Again, make sure those memberships are up to date for the fan call-in show tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern time. But that is going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.